you guys. Okay, so I just wanted to elaborate. Just run, just run my mouth today, you know, this morning. Now, I wanted to um, elaborate on um, my last post that I put. Catch it if you can't, I'm always posting. Um, but the post was a judge talking about a man and a woman, I guess, I don't know if they were married or not, I'm not sure, but um, the man keeps on abandoning, abandoning her or like leaving her and the judge made a, made a great point. He was, she was like, um, every time you leave and then you come back when you feel like it, you're teaching her, you know, that you can leave whenever you want and you know you're teaching her that she's not basically not worth anything to you or whatever you know like you can just treat her how you want to treat her and um yeah so that really resonated for me um and I wanted to touch on the topic of mental health and the topic of emotional health um, those topics for me, especially emotional health, I feel like emotional and mental health kind of go hand in hand with each other. Um, if you're emotionally unstable, then it can affect you mentally. <laughs> um, so with that being said, um, <clears throat> and also the spirit of rejection, I, but I, I just wanted to like touch on this. I am so sick. <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of people belittle, belittling, I don't know if that's the word, but belittling others' struggles. So a lot of times we will empathize with the AIDS um, patient, the cancer patient, domestic abuse survivor, um, but then when it comes to people who are emotionally unstable or even sometimes even mentally unstable, now um, we're starting to kind of have <clears throat> people speak up more um, and be more uh, empathetic to people who have mental health issues. It's, start, it's starting to kind of like be more on the mass level, talking about it, people, you know, but one thing that we're forgetting is emotional health. And there are a lot of people out here dealing with issues, like emotional issues. You know what I'm saying? And we, and a lot of times it's, very, and I guess the reason why people like belittle it is because it's, e okay, yeah. sorry, I had to make sure I was going the right way. Um, it's easy to cover up those issues. And let's be real, a lot of us are going through stuff that we don't speak about and that we're afraid to talk about because we're afraid of becoming judged. We're, we're afraid of what people will say about us. You know, we're afraid of the unknown that can happen if we open up our mouth. And the only way that you're going to heal is if you open up your mouth, period. Like that's the only way um it's helped me out and yes i've gotten back yes i've gotten pushback from certain people even people even people that i love people who have who are close to me because i opened up my mouth i've had people who belittled what i was going through as if what i was going through was was nothing you know and i just want to encourage you that if you're going through anything emotional mentally whatever whatever you're going through i don't you know want you to hold on y'all i'm sorry okay uh, i don't want you to um stop anyone i'm stopping anyone no i mean um let anyone stop you thank you sarah i love you it's my sister y'all um i don't want you to let anyone stop you from your growth and if you have started speaking on things and started talking about it I want to congratulate you I want to congratulate you for speaking on it and talking about it and opening up I want to 
tell you that you are a very strong person for talking about it. You are a very strong person. There are a lot of people out here that don't want to deal with themselves. They'd rather go to work. They'd rather bury themselves in their work. They'd rather bury themselves in activities or whatever instead of really dealing with themselves. And that is probably one of the worst things you can do if you are dealing with some emotional issues or whatever. Um, you, you have to talk about it. You have to. And I don't want to pressure you to do it when people tell you to do it. I, but I do want to encourage you to not keep it in. You know, um, come to a point in your life where even if you may get rejected from speaking how you feel or talk about how you feel or what you're going through, don't let that stop you from talking about it and getting help. What helped me was the word of God. Um, I mean, because that's really all that I trusted. <laughs> um, Jesus Christ, that helped me so, 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 so much. Um, sorry, you guys, I'm trying to find this area. But yeah, Jesus Christ helped me. So, you know, <clears throat> I do, like I said, I do want you guys to, um, not be afraid to um, care about your health in all aspects, whether it's physical, mental. Oh, I gotta turn around, y'all. Whether it's physical, mental, or emotional, you know, all of that. That's very important. And I want you to know this it's all important to God. All of it. Every last one, like everything that you're going through, I don't care how, how big or small. Everything that you're going through is important to God. I don't care if you just stubbed your toe. It's important to God, okay? <laughs> it's important to God. And I know that there are times where, like, you know, you you may not hear back from God or you may not hear his voice. But one of the things that really helped me when I didn't hear God's voice is I got in his word. I, I mean, people want to hear God all the time, but they don't open up the Bible to hear what he has to say, you know, and I, I can't tell you how much of an impact that was in my life and in my spiritual growth and in my mental growth and in my uh, emotional growth. It really helped. I'm not where I, where I want to be, but I am better than where I was. So, um, that's really all that I have. I may touch on it a little later, you guys, but I have I have made my destination, but I do want, I do want you guys to don't let anyone silence you in what you're going through and don't want let, don't let anyone belittle you in what you're going through. Don't let anybody do that. Okay. And I love you guys. And look, we're, do, we're in this together. All of us. I'm walking with you. You, you know, I'm walking with me. I just want you to know that you have someone here that understands what you're going through. And look, I applaud you for taking that step to take care of you. Okay. All right, you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.